Hi again, welcome to another video. And in front of us today, we have the Steel BR430 backpack blower. I've just cleared out my two garages and my storage unit, and I come across this. I vaguely remember getting it with some others, and I'm at a job today, so I thought I'd get it out, I put a bit of fuel in it, and see if it started. And yes, it did start. So that's really good. It's bogging down when I go to rev out. If I give it a little bit of choke, then rev it out, and I keep the revs higher, then it will do the job. So it's definitely got a carb issue, I would say. But then again, these things are prone to getting um, piston damage as well. So even though it does run, it don't necessarily mean that the piston is in good condition. I think I could probably adjust it out a bit further, but it's got one of them black caps on to stop you adjusting it out any further than it where it is so i think if i took that off i might be able to get it running better but um i want to go through it anyway whether i keep it or whether i sell it i want to go through it and just check so that'll be the next um job but just before um i get this on the bench i'll start it up and i'll show you what it's doing it has been running but hopefully it starts up again quick <laughs> this steel br430 backpack blower on the bench and i'm gonna take the covers off which i've nearly got them unbolted anyway and the recoil's got to come off first and that air filter cover there uh, because i want to have a look at the carburetor and also i am going to have a little peek and check that the piston's okay so i'll be taking the exhaust off and um, i always do that check on a two-stroke because uh, if the piston's damaged then yeah i've got to make bigger decisions if it's okay and it's sort of bogging down like you saw earlier in the video um i've got to probably do the carburetor if it's carburetor issues then that's easy enough to sort out if it's got piston damage then yeah that's a much bigger job and whether i can get the parts um i don't think last time i looked you could actually get the top end for these um sort of um copy part cheap copy part um you could obviously get them genuine but they'd be very expensive but i have actually put a piston in one of these before so you can buy an aftermarket piston but i'm not sure whether you can buy the whole lot um, now but anyway we'll cross that bridge when we come to it if we come to it because piston might be in really good condition so then it'll just be the carburetor i would think so now the cover's off the exhaust is just about off now just got this last one to undo so then we can have a look in there see what it's like it's nearly out yep that's out now so i'll just have a peek and then i'll tell you my findings and i'll see if i can show you the good news um because i think it's okay it's not perfect it's got a few little marks on the piston but it's not bad at all so i think we're going to be able to go with that but i'll see if i can just show you in there if i move that up you can see doesn't look too bad at all. It's not too scored. I have the old sort of light scratch on it, but I'd say that's not bad at all. So uh, it's likely the other side will be okay, but I'm gonna take the carburetor off so I can check in that side as well. So that'll be my next job. So I've put the exhaust back on and we're to the carburetor side now. So I need to undo that. I think it's more than likely, it's probably just a poor diaphragm in the carb. So if I get that, so it'll probably be okay um i've got to undo two eight mils in there off camera i undid them two eight mil nuts in there so we have that off now so we try and ease that off there is a pipe going up there holding it a little bit ah so it'll come off now so what i want to do now is take the throttle cable off uh, i might just pull it out of there and see if it'll come off like that. I can always just press the throttle, hold that down like that, 
and then push the cable up if it'll allow me to which it does and that is out just push it back in where it's got to go so i remember so that's disconnected we have a pipe there that goes to the primer bulb goes to the top uh i don't really care which end it comes off Let's see if i can get it off the primer bulb end if it doesn't i can try this end yeah it's coming off this end there we go that one's off and we have that one at the bottom there's another pipe there that's the one that goes all the way to the tank so we'll get that off as well there we go and we are spurting petrol out which is not great i should have undone the cap first but sorted it now i'm just gonna put that over there like so i have just took a little like carb block off there what goes between the head and the carburetor just to check the piston and i'm not sure how well you can see but to me that looks pretty good too so yeah i'm pretty sure the piston and rings and everything are good they don't look like they're stuck in or anything or any major damage so yeah that's good news so i'm going with the carburetor and then hopefully that's all that this machine needs, just a carburetor sorting out. So now what I want to do is get the carburetor apart so I can see what parts I need for it. So I can match them up with the photos online. It's always the best way to do it. You can go by numbers, but I've done that before and still even had the wrong carb kit. So if I take this off, I can match up and know I've got the correct kit. So I'll just get these undone. I got to where I need to get to now, and that one does really look suspect to me. You can see that there's no pliability to that at all. Really rippled. So we'll get that off. Put that down there. Yeah, that's in a bad way. So I'm glad to see that really, because I know I stopped there because I realised that that was on the wrong way. So when I took it apart, it was like that. And it shouldn't be. That part there, a little piece there at the end, should be the piece that pushes on there. So someone has put this in the wrong way. So that obviously it wasn't helping but it did start and it did run and it did sort of rev out but not as it should only sort of you had to sort of tickle the throttle really to make it do that as you saw earlier it wasn't it wasn't good so yeah i think that was a problem but you can see it isn't very good anyway so i'm going to get that ordered and then i can get a new one fitted so it's a few days on now the diaphragm gasket kit has arrived so i'm going to strip the carb down clean it out and then put the new kit in and then we'll get it back on the machine. I'm not going to show you me blasting through with the carb spray in the air because I do that on a lot of videos and it's just um, it's common sense really. All you do is just um, spray the carb spray through all the little holes throughout the carb and then blow it through fairly low pressure with the airline. But I'm going to strip it down first so you can see me do that. On this one, that bolt there that holds that pin in is a torx bit so i'll get that unscrewed sometimes they're a phillips screw sometimes they're even a flat end depends but on these happens to be a torx so we'll get that out there we go and the needle valve and everything come out with it all pinged out and i should have the spring there which there it is so put that all to the side annoyingly this is magnetic and everything sort of sticks to it but it's the only one of them i've got uh there is one there like a little jet 
So we'll see if we can get that out. Yep. There, tiny little check there. So for that for the then bits. Uh, just check there's nothing in there, like a washer at the bottom or anything, but I don't believe there is. Uh, the fuel adjusters are locked in place on this. So let me just, that's half, yeah, in a bit. So yeah, you can only adjust them up so far because then plastic bits sort of lock it. You can remove them and have more adjustment, but it probably won't need that. So now I've messed around with that, I'll probably have to just adjust that in at the end. But I'm going to leave them in while I clean it on this particular carb. So now I can just blow through it and, well, go through with the carb spray first, then blow through it with the airline for all the holes. That is quite an important one. It's the gauze there, but you can see, I can see right underneath that that's really clear. So I'm not going to pull that gauze out because they never quite go back in the same when you pull them out. So I'm going to leave that be because it's clear already, as you can see. Um, and yeah, I think the car was pretty clean anyway. It's just that diaphragm the wrong way around, I think, was causing the issue. So off camera, like I said, I'll give it a good clean up and then I'll be back with you when I'm putting everything back together. Now all the bits and pieces are all cleaned up. I did them too earlier, that bit there. And that bit there so firstly i'm gonna get this side back on and all we have to do there is just make sure i'll match up with the old bit but i'm sure that's a bit there just make sure we have got the right kit that looks right to me i have a little bolt there so i've got to get this on but it's a little bit tricky to sort of show you because to hold it up and try and do it it's quite hard so I'm just going to lay it on there. There is little dowels where it locates to on there. But if I lay it down this way, it will just be a bit easier, I think. So let's line that up. As I'm putting that on, I have to just pull that around like that. A bit of um, throttle piece. So otherwise it won't clear to let me put this on. But let's just go for it. Line it up, see if we can get it in place. Have I done that? I have done that. So it was easier rather than to put it on the dowel side. So let's just screw that up. So that has done that side. Now on the other side, I'm gonna put the needle valve back in. I need to rest that spring in there first, and it has. It's better if I can get the carb more level, really, but this seems to be balancing in there okay. Now I'll put this like that. Then I have to put that in to where it's got to go, in one sort of move, really. So then the spring will be in place, so let's go for it. And I've done that nearly. And we are in. Just got a little bolt to put back in there now. The one I said with the Torx head. And it's a fiddly little one because it's a small. So let's see if we can get that on the line there. We have. There's a tool. So we got that nice and tight. So everything is good there. Now we mustn't forget the little jet we took out, I've blown that through and it's all nice and clear. So that goes in there like so. Get that tightened up. So now that jet's back in, now we've got to put the diaphragm and gasket on. So that goes like that, the gasket. The diaphragm goes like that. It's the right way around. Like that. And then we have the piece that holds it all together. And we've got some little bolts here. So I'll just put two in at the moment just to get them started and I'll put the other two in afterwards. Yeah. 
So that's the car I've all done and ready to go back on the machine. It's all clean now and it's got the new kit in it. And that was a kit I used. It was a Wartec product. I find them okay. And that was six pounds. So yeah, I'll get the blower back on the bench now and then we'll get it all fitted back together. Now I'm gonna get the carburetor back on. I have put a gasket on already and I have sort of located where the pipes are. That one there goes on the top one. And then we have one there and then it's that one uh so i've already placed the throttle cable in place i might have to hook it out of there just to give me a little bit more room but we'll see if it will just go on it might do it's a bit tight but it has gone on so now i'll just push that all in place now that throttle cable then we've got that pipe there in place and then we've got this other one which i'm just going to push onto that back one and then i'm going to place that behind actually the first pipe i showed you goes into the slot more near the engine and this one goes on the other side like so so i think that is all good let's just try the throttle that's all working and then we've got to put this one on there so that looks to be all good. We've got this piece to put on. There's a little rubber piece there that goes into there. So I'll put that in there. And then I have to sort of push it in place and work it in place like that. That goes in there like so. And I'm actually onto the studs now. Don't wanna, ah, oh, we're in there I think. Looking good. Check the gasket always good, and that is. So that's in place. Now we have this piece. This piece goes in like that. And there is like a rubber sort of seal around there, but that stayed in place. So I haven't got to worry about that. Now we have two nuts to go in there. One. So now I've done all that, I've got to put the cover on and the recoil. Um, I'm gonna just put this cover on now. It should sort of fall into place, but sometimes it is a little bit tricky because it has a lot of sort of things to fit around. But we are sort of getting there. One of them sort of things that don't look like it's gonna fit and then all of a sudden everything falls into place and it has done that. Um, there's a series of bolts. I will do them off camera and I will put the recoil back on off camera as well. It's only three bolts in there. And then I've got the air filter cover, bolt there, bolt there. And I've got to remember to put the air filter in which this was the one that was out of it. And I don't think it's been in there that long. So that can go again. So yeah, I'll be back with you when I'm trying this outside. So we now have this steel BR430 blower outside. I've just put some fuel in it. So I'll pump the primer up, choke it, see if it starts. You can hear it coming. The car was empty, so took a bit of getting up. Let's go for it now. I'll put it on choke. So we're ready to go.
it's not revving out. I'm going to adjust that carb screw what I mentioned, which I messed around with, and I think that should solve it. It's the next day now, and I've brought this steel BR430 to work to try it out, and I've just blown off this area. Um, you can see all the leaves there, which is blown. And um, all I had to do was um, undo the adjusters, the low and the low and the high one, right the way out. Um, they do come to a stop because they've got them little black pieces on but I just brought them both out as far as I could and it seems to rev out well now so it's been doing a decent job so I'll just show you it running and just blowing them last few leaves just into the hedge there So that's a good result it starts and runs well and revs out well so yeah i'm pleased with that um i'll take it to work for the rest of the week and just try it out i am even tempted to keep this one because it's a br430 and i have a br350 which i've been using the last couple of years alongside my uh big echo blower but i might replace the br350 with this one because it's just got that little bit more power so really the only thing that was wrong with this was that diaphragm wrong way around but i did clean the carve and clean the tank out and everything so um yeah i've been been through it and i did put a new spark plug in it off camera as well so yeah um i'm pleased with that uh it's a good machine I mean, it's another one done so i hope you enjoyed the video of sorting out this steel br 430 backpack blower and i'll be along with another video again soon so bye for now